All right, Shalom. Of course, I'm going to start off with giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And this is just going to be a quick video, just um, just to speak on a handful of subjects. <laughs> now, one thing I want to comment on, man, I was just watching, what is this dude? What's this guy, the Raging Atheist? Look him up on YouTube. And he just did a commentary of um, of this discussion between this dude, uh, what's this cat? Jill, which stands for um, uh, Jesus is Lord is what it stands for, versus Perry, right? We all know who that cat is, right? You know, Perry, a.k.a. the preacher. You know, they had a, a back and forth conversation. You know, so, so the raging atheist was like, it's like, shit, well, this is like, you know, this is like dumb versus dumber. You know, because shit, you know, Perry is the dumber one, but Jill's still a dumbass too, right? You know, to be fair, of course, you know, even though they're both a dumbass, Perry is the, uh, the worst of the two. I think we all could agree on that. And Jill, let, let me even say this, you know, Jill, even though he don't know them scriptures, you know, um, you can actually have a, a relatively friendly back and forth discussion with him. And I can say that based on the fact that um, I've had a couple interactions myself with that character, you know, throughout the months. You know, we've had a conversation, you know, like two or three times before. Um, you know, so even though he don't know what he's talking about, you know, he can be relatively respectful, you know, in a conversation with you, um, you know, regarding to the uh, regarding to the scriptures. You know, and then another thing that I wanted to to mention is I was uh, premiering a, a video just yesterday. It was a conversation between um, a Deacon Hakka and um, a Christian by the name of Mel. Right, so I, I was watching the live show when they both had a conversation live, and I was like, damn, this is a good conversation. You know, I'm going to just you know record this and upload it. You know, so more people can see the conversation that might not have, you know, watched it on Deacon's page, right? So I did that. And, you know, why I premiered a, the video, I'm always there live in the comment section to, um, you know, interact with anybody who asked a question in the live chat. Now, keep in mind, the stream is not live, but rather it's a video premiere. For anybody that's familiar with, um, you know, streaming on YouTube or premiering a video, they're two different things. A premiere is a, um, basically it's just premiering a pre-recorded video. So there's a live chat on it, but it's not a live stream. If you get what I'm saying, like you can interact in the comment section, but it's not like a, um, a stream yard conversation where you can bring people on live because it's not actually a live stream. It's just the um, typing back and forth in the chat, that's live, but as far as the actual video, that's pre-recorded, if you get what I'm saying. You know, so this cat, what's this dude? Um, I'll give me a second. What's this guy, Hebrew Israelite camp only, a camp killer or something like that? So some weird name, right, which all his agenda is, is try to, um, you know, come after the One West camps, you know, such as, you know, Sakari, GMS, um, ISUPK, right, basically, all his channel is dedicated for, and two, is to try to discredit the Hebrew Israelites, that's all his channel is for, it's not, you know, really bringing any type of edification on any other subjects, it's just to try to debunk the, the black Hebrew Israelites, that's the only subject that he talks about on his channel, it's like, damn, it. <laughs> at least vocab, Right, at least vocab will actually, you know, interact with Muslims and, you know, atheists. You know, once in a while he'll have a conversation with somebody that's not a Hebrew Israelite. But it's like, damn, this character, every video is about the Hebrew Israelites. It's like, damn. You know, so it just shows the mindset these people are in. It's not, you know, to try to bring any type of edification for the believers. But rather it's just to try to bring some type of contention against these other groups of believers. That's just uh, that's just what these guys are doing, man. But anyway, the reason I brought this guy up, right, 
is because he was on the live chat on the premiere uh, stream, the premiere video, I should say, because it wasn't live. It was just a pre-recorded video that was being streamed so you could see it, but it was not actually live live, if you get what I'm saying. So the guys on there like, oh, we'll drop the link, you know, let's have a conversation right now. So I try to say, it's like, hey, man, you know, well, for one, you know, we can't even do that right now because this video is not even a live stream. This is a, a premiere of a pre-recorded video. So I can't even give you a link because there's no link available because this is not on StreamYard. You know, so then they'll be like, oh, you know, you guys are just, you know, you guys are just scared to have a conversation with us. It's like, wait a second, scared to have a conversation with you. I mean, dog, you, you know where we're at, man. You know where we're at. We're here live every week on YouTube where we host open panel live streams where anybody can click the link and hop on the live stream and have a back and forth dialogue on the subjects that they disagree in the scriptures. I haven't seen you and not one over the past couple of months, man. Right, when we do an actual live stream live from StreamYard, you know where we're at. There's nothing stopping you from clicking the link and having a conversation with us. So, so nobody's running from no one. It's, it's, <laughs> it's more like uh, either you don't catch me when I'm live or you're preoccupied with something else is mainly what it is. And then another side note, just as a side note, I tried to explain to him that, um, you know, not all of us are fortunate enough, you know, but we're able to sit, you know, inside their house at a computer screen and join live streams all day. Not all of us are able to do that. You know, some of us have to come out and record in a cold car, you know, and upload the video. Uh, but hell, not hell. I don't even have mobile data right now, you know, so I can't call, can't text, can't use the Internet outside of uh, my home. You know what I'm saying, which I usually use that. The whole reason I have that is so that I could do my live streams, right? But fell behind on the bill this month. Uh, just like what happened to that that damn devil demon, right? That simp, uh, Melvin, right? Just like Melvin, right? He falls behind on his on his internet bill, <laughs> right? So so I'm in the same position as Melvin's in, right? Is it that I want it to be that way? No. But that's just the circumstance. You know, so to sit there and say, oh, well, because I can't, you know, drop everything. Because then they were going to say, well, why don't, since you don't can't bring us on your stream now, well, why don't we just go live over on Ryan Apologetics live stream? Let's go do a live show right now. And then I try to tell them, hey, look, I'd be down to do it. But my only restriction is I don't have mobile data available to me. And that's what I use in order to do join any live streams or host any live streams. So when I tell him that, he's like, oh, well, you're just you're just making up an excuse. It's like, no, I'm not making up an excuse. That's simply the restrictions that I have to operate around. And that's nothing new because I've been literally saying that for years. As I said, not all of us are fortunate enough where we're able to sit at a desk in our home and join live streams all day. I know you might be able to, right? That character might be able to do that, but I'm not fortunate enough where I'm able to do that. You know, so based on the restrictions I have to operate myself around, you know, whole twist that and make it look like, oh, well, see, because he can't drop everything and join me live right this minute. See, that means that he's running, right? Or he's trying to hide something. It's like, come on, man. Are you that, that much of a damn uh, a simp? Or this other devil demon. That I had a conversation with the other day. What's this character? Uh, Richard. From this channel called. Um, demolished Doctrine. Right Richard. Hey look Richard got demolished. Right he he got a. Uh, mop the floor with his ass. Right he, he's not. He's not any type of. Um, he's easy work right there. And nothing difficult. You know what you do with that character. Just like Mina Shreg would say. You know. All, when you have a conversation with somebody. All it takes is like two or three minutes by asking them just a couple of questions on the scriptures. You can find out what type of level of intelligence that this person is on. You ask them, okay, well, does God kill people? Where is hell at? 
you know, what's Babylon? What's hell? Um, is God white or black? Who are the Israelites today? What is sin? What's the law? You know, stuff like that. Very simple questions that even these studied Christians oftentimes would have trouble trying to define these terms. Let alone an average simp who just believes in the Bible because that's what they were taught growing up. Like, I, you know, th this is sad. I watched a video like two weeks ago of this one guy. What he did is he took like a $20 bill and he went into a populated mall. And um, he went up to random people, like 20 different people, and asked them, hey, look, just quote me one Bible verse off the top of your head and I'll give you $20. So he went up to 20 people. Only one person out of 20 people could quote one Bible verse. And even that guy had to sit there. The guy who even got it right. Even he had to sit there and think about what to say for a minute or two. And then everyone else was like, oh, I don't know one. It's like, damn, you guys don't even know one verse? It's like, shit, I, I would have thought that they would have known, you know, at least, you know, some of the most popular ones. Like, um... You know, Galatians 3.28, John 3.16, um, you know, Romans 2.28.29. You know, you'd think that they would know a simple one like that because those are like the, the cornerstones of the Christian faith. You know, so you would think that they'd at least know those precepts, at least one of them. It's like, damn. Hell, even a three-year-old knows John 3.16. You know, because that's by far one of the... um most overused and under, um, what's the word I'm looking for? And misunderstood would be the correct word to use. Most used and misunderstood verses in the Bible. Because the world in John 3.16 is talking about the nation of Israel. It's not talking about the entire actual world that we're living in. And there's plenty of precepts to explain that. But anyway, you know, that that's a... Uh, that's a different conversation. But you're speaking of mine and Shereg, it's like, damn, we don't know where the hell that guy is at, man. You know, the last time me and him had a conversation was like seven months ago when we had Good Servant, right? Good Serpent, as he calls him. <laughs> Which, rest in peace to, to Stephen. You know, he, he, was a, he was a cool guy, right? Stephen was a cool guy. You know, he um, had an early death, you know, so that that's unfortunate. Um, but anyway, going back to what I was saying, it's like, we don't know where the hell Minus Shereg is, you know, hell, for all I know, he might have, you know, fell into Mel's hole, or, um, you know, joined Kenny Veach in the, the M cave, for, you know, the last thing I know. <laughs> we don't know where the hell that guy is, man. But anyway, anyway, I digress, I digress. Oh, another thing I wanted to comment on, is you had this one dumbass in the comment board. And and he was like, I forget this cat's name, but he was an Israelite. You know, he was on there saying, oh, look, you know, this guy, E.T.T., -T, you know, he, he's an Edomite. You know, he's on here exposing his own, right? He was like, it's funny to see, you know, you as an Edomite try to expose your own people. So I responded and said, well, first of all, what I did is I clicked on his icon and I went to his channel. And as I already saw from a mile away, I already knew what this was coming when I clicked on his profile it went to his channel guess what there was literally no videos no videos so wait a second so, so you're gonna sit here and criticize me but yeah here it is i have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of um of videos that i've put out there throughout the years starting from 2016 but somehow i'm the one who is misunderstood it's like, well, first of all, how do you know if I'm an Edomite or not? Because you, you have Israelites that can look like other nations. And then second of all, let's even give a, a hypothetical. Right? Let's just give a, a hypothetical scenario, for lack of better words. Let's say if I was an Edomite, how is it that an Edomite knows the Bible better than you do? How is it that an Edomite knows the Bible better than your black ass? And that's a real question for you. It's like, shit, how is it that, again, given a hypothetical, if I was an Edomite, how is it that an Edomite has a better understanding of the Holy Bible 
than your black ass has. And you're supposedly an Israelite, right? That's a damn embarrassment right there if I ever saw one for myself. You know, so phony balonies like that, you know, they just, um, the, the stupidity of some of these people is, is astounding, right? The stupidity and self-contradictory of some of these characters on the internet is just unbelievable. As the Mina Shereg would say, right, people are mentally retarded. And that's true, man. These suckers out here are mentally retarded. And that goes on every <laughs> aspect. I mean, shit, these uh, people think that they're evolved monkeys walking on a ball spinning a thousand miles an hour. You gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be retarded to believe something like that. And we all were. Well, we all believe that. I sure as hell know I used to believe that. Well, at least the the baller part, right? I never subscribed to the the uh, the theory of evolution, right? But I used to believe in, in the baller, just like all of us, you know. But then, you know, comes a time when, you know, we question what we were told, and it turns out that what they told us about the world we live in, you know, it um, the information they give us doesn't add up. You know, but that's that's another subject there, so I'm not going to go off onto that. Uh, let me see. Oh, another thing I wanted to comment on is, um, you know, I see these guys in the comment boards. They'll be there, like, like say for an example, you know, all the TVC Mario, Mario, which a lot of you don't know who that is. You got to be watching this channel for a number of years to know who I'm talking about. But TVC Mario. Right, he's some type of like sellout and actor. Right, he's some type of like agent. And then I had this one dumbass on YouTube uh, named Andrew Ashby because I simply made a a two minute video and and said that even though I don't agree with Mario as far as the doctrine of the Bible, you know these guys shouldn't go around and um, you know call Mario all types of names. You know, being a false witness against him. You know, even though I don't agree with Mario as far as his teachings of the Bible. You know, that doesn't mean I'm going to turn around and just slander the guy for no reason, right? There's no reason to go and do that. You know, so simply because I made that statement, you know, this guy, Andrew Ashby, turned around and he was like, oh, well, you know, ETT is being paid by TVC Mario to say these things. It's like, wait a second, what? And back at the time when I did that, I was 14 years old. So, so you're, you mean to tell me, that me, when I was 14, I, I was a paid agent. I was being paid by somebody to simply stand up for them and say that they're not, um, you know, doing all these perverted things behind the scenes. It's like, that, that, that is some foolery right there. Or another thing, you know, guys would be on the comic boards like, oh, you know, these guys like, you know, Mark Sargent, uh, Eric Dubay. Um, you know, some of these Israelite camp leaders, these guys are all paid agents, right? They're being paid by somebody to, to lie to you. It's like, no, don't you think it's much more reasonable and logical to believe that they're just humans with a different viewpoint than you? So maybe instead of being paid by somebody to talk about things that disagree with your ideology, ideologies and views, maybe they're just another human expressing their views on the subject. For an example, if somebody says that we're in the New Covenant and I say we're not in the New Covenant, that doesn't mean the other person's being paid by somebody to lie and say that we're in the New Covenant today just because they disagree with my viewpoint on the subject. It's much more reasonable and logical to assume that, okay, well, you know, they've done research into the subject and they just came to a different understanding than what I came to. Or going to the couple of people I made a mention of, it's like, oh, well, Mark Sargent or Eric Dubay, you know, those are paid agents. It's like, well, for one, well, who exactly is paying these people to lie about what exactly? I mean, what are they going on on YouTube lying about? And the most important question is, is who's making these paychecks to send to these people? You ask them, oh, they don't know that. And more importantly, it's like, well, what, what evidence is there that you have that somebody's receiving a check behind the scenes to, to not talk about something? 
I mean, what evidence do you have of that? Are you just saying that because you heard somebody else say it or, or like, how do you know that exactly? You know, it's not like you actually know the person in real life where, you know, like a, you know, 99 out of a hundred times, you know, you, you wouldn't know these people in real life, you know, so, um, you know, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, to sit there and say that people are being paid from behind the scenes to not talk about certain things. It's much more reasonable and logical to assume that, you know, instead of what they're doing is they're just, um, you know, expressing their different point of view on those subject matters. Because maybe they did some research into it and just came to a different understanding from what you came to. I think that's very logical and very reasonable to have that position. You know, it just boggles the mind how somebody could see differently. But anyway, I'm going to say shalom.